Hi, this is Miss Torres, and I'm going to read you a Navajo tale called Spider Woman Teaches the Navajo. One day long ago, a young girl walked to Spider Rock. Many people told a legend that Spider Woman lived nearby. Suddenly, the girl heard a soft voice calling. She looked all around, but she did not see anyone. Then the soft voice called again. It seemed to be coming from inside the earth. When the girl looked down, she saw the ground had split open. There was a tiny crack in the earth. She was curious, so she peeked into the crack. Below the crack, the girl saw a small room. There were rugs hanging on the walls. The rugs were woven with wonderful bright colors and had beautiful designs. What beautiful rugs! exclaimed the girl as she looked down into the room. Spider Woman looked up at the girl. Come in, child, she said. Suddenly the girl found herself in Spider Woman's room. Can I learn to weave rugs like these? asked the girl. Will you teach me how to create them? I will teach you to create rugs if you agree to just one thing, said Spider Woman. You must go out into the world and teach Navajo women how to weave. I will, agreed the girl. So Spider Woman began the first lesson right away. The girl listened closely. First, the girl learned that the materials for the rugs were natural resources. These colors come from the earth, explained Spider Woman. White comes from shells, and blue comes from turquoise, and many more colors can be made from plants. Spider Woman taught the girl how to make each beautiful color. Next, the girl learned about the loom, which is a weaving machine. My husband, Spider-Man, made this loom for me, said Spider-Woman. The bar across the top stands for the sky, and the bottom bar stands for the earth. My loom is made of the sun's rays, the lightning, and the rain. Spider-Woman taught the girl how to use the loom. Finally, the girl learned about the designs. The designs come from the earth and the sky, explained Spider-Woman. When I weave, I think about the clouds. I remember the flash of lightning when it rains. I dream of sunbeams on sunny days, and I remember the beauty of the mountains standing against the sky. Spider-Woman continued with a warning. You must never draw your design on paper, she said. Close your eyes and imagine the design in your mind. Let the weaving come from your heart. Spider Woman taught the girl how to make the designs, and the girl promised to listen to her heart. The girl was almost ready to begin weaving, but first, Spider Woman shared one last piece of knowledge. The edge of the rug must have one small break in its design, she said. It can be as simple as a light color woven into a dark background. This opening is called the energy pathway. It is how the energy of the weaver escapes from the rug. If you do not leave the opening, your energy will be trapped inside the rug. You will not be able to create any more beautiful rugs. So the girl began to weave. She wove rugs and blankets with lovely colors and designs. After a lot of hard work, she became a very good weaver. Then she left Spider Woman she kept her promise to teach Navajo women to weave. The girl became known as Weaving Woman. For the rest of her life, she traveled and taught the Navajo women to weave. And that's why, to this day, the Navajos still weave their beautiful rugs and blankets for all people to enjoy. Now we are going to practice retelling the story. Use the pictures to help you retell the story. Feel free to pause the video and discuss these questions with an adult or a sibling or someone at home. The first question, where is the girl? What is she looking at? What does the girl want? What does Spider Woman ask her to do? What does Spider Woman teach the girl about the loom? What does the girl learn about designs? 
Lastly, what does the girl do when she leaves Spider-Woman? What does this story tell about Navajo people today? Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about Navajo women in this tale.